It's got to be Inferno, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be Inferno. And, uh... We got almost everyone in the server. We got Ace, SMX, Metal, Books, and... One more person. Yeah, Baked. Baked's missing from the server. Um, that's Team Wolf for you. And on Team Mayhem, um, we have Robo with some weird Korean lettering in front. We got Bot. Not Bot Eric, but some guy called Bot. Reborn, Innocent, dot Wow. And uh, I think we're still missing the last guy. So, yep, almost everyone's in the server. It's going to go live soon. And it's gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a tough match, to be very frank, for uh, for Mayhem to take down Wolf. But uh, we've seen crazy shit before. I mean, NST was expected to win the previous game against uh, veterans, uh, D veterans. But uh, you saw what happened there. It was it was a very tight game. I mean, well played from both sides and. Uh, it was a 16-14 scoreline in the end, but I don't think anyone was expecting that. I think almost everyone was like, NST is going to win that game. But like I said, it's Counter-Strike, you see a lot of surprises, and that's the thing about this game, and that's why we all love this game. Because you can never count a team out until you know the last round's played, and the last person in the opponent is dead. And uh, that's where I think this game you know, stands apart compared to... You know other spectator sports. I mean, esports like let's say Dota, Dota 2, or for that matter, uh, LOL, like League of Legends. Like in those games, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, it's it's pretty tough to mount comebacks. And uh, that's the thing with Counter Strike. It, that's the beautiful thing about this game. You can just keep mounting comebacks, as, and it's never over. Just to quote NSD, Team NSD's name, never say die. You can always turn around at the last uh, minute as well. Uh, coming back to the game, it's uh, I think everyone's in a server. We got five on each side. I think it's going to go live. So I'm just going to give a quick uh, name call here again for MTS Game God Wolf. We have SMX, Mythal, Ace, uh, Baked, and Books. And uh, for Team Mayhem, we got Bot, Reborn, Innocent, Robo, and Razor, who seems to love Nato Suffix. And. Uh, Yep, looks like it's gonna go live. Uh, we haven't seen any knife rounds so far, so I'm assuming they're deciding the sides on a toss of a coin or something, or maybe they're, um, you know, they decide the sides while, you know, while doing the the vetoes as well, the map vetoes as well. So, a couple of guys still AFK, so it's not gonna go live for the next uh, few minutes, but it should be starting anytime soon. Master Nodic, best name ever. Although I don't understand why he would insult himself, but okay. So I think it's gonna start once the warm-up is ended. I think uh, all the T's, none of them are AFK, but Baked and Books are still AFK. Hopefully Baked isn't Baked. <laughs> Bad joke, sorry. Yep, it's gonna go live, guys. Um, it's gonna go live. The map is Inferno. It is Team Mayhem versus Team Wolf. Uh, the favorites are Team Wolf. Unfortunately, there are no bets for this in CSGO Lounge, so... I hope this match won't get DDO West. Anyways, uh, it's gonna go live, and uh, I think Ace is is Ace AFK. Looks like Ace is AFK. Yeah, it's not live yet. <clears throat> yep, now we got. It. So let's see what. They're gonna be doing um it's Inferno and it is slightly CT biased. 
So, uh, let's see here. We got another team kill, so it's not live yet. Okay. So, they're just running around. I guess one guy's AFK or they're having some system issues. But, yeah. And now, yep, now it should be live, finally. So, um, um, let's see what Wolf does here. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful slaughter knife. So, Wolf are gonna do a standard split, they got books and bait at B, and, uh, Ace and Mythyl, they're gonna be just trying to peek mid here. But the T side, they are playing extremely passive, the two guys still near T spawn. And three guys in alt mid, and look at Ace here, he's just quietly crawling down mid, and he's got a nice vantage spot at bench. He just missed the guy who was about to pass him in uh, in banana and in uh, alt mid, and now they know that it's going to be an A play because and Wolf, a nice headshot. They know they're all in alt mid and a house because banana is completely clear, and uh, Wolf doing Ace doing the smart thing, falling back from mid, and uh. A 4 and 5, just like that. And the T's have got to make a play now. They're playing extremely passive here. And I really don't think that's going to help them unless they really have a proper plan in place. And I can just see one smoke on Innocent. And let's check out Mithil here. They get a kill on Ace here. Mithil... Metal gets taken down after taking down bot. Now it's back to a three on three, and it's all an SMX here. He is trying to spam that USB. He gets a kill on reborn, but the bomb is going to go down here. And Razor gets taken down. He should have gone to the site. And uh, Books picks up the last kill to give the round to Wolf. So uh, pretty pretty clean round from uh, Wolf altogether. They just lost two people. That's Ace and Metal, who did manage to pick pick up uh, a frag each. Um, that round, if I mean, I I really think the mayhem could have gone a little bit more aggressive, um, a little bit more, you know, uh, you know, pushy. Like they were just holding very, very passive, making you know an ace doing some ballsy. They were just walking down mid and getting the frag on the guy at uh, at T slope, and uh, that wouldn't have happened if there was one guy who was you know uh, holding holding banana or holding mid. So, I'm not sure that this is a very good idea. And once again, eco round, and they are holding extremely passive and just walking up house. Um, and let's see what the CTs have. They got a couple of masses, two M4s, and uh, an auto shotty at uh, with books. The thing with eco rounds, uh, especially against a team like Wolf, is you are gonna get Massacred if you're gonna try and go for one on one peaks against guys with M4 A1s or uh, FAMAS, FAMASes. And uh, they gotta, you know, make a call. They gotta decide to push one side, try to get the plant, because that's what they gotta prioritize on right now to get the plant so they can buy on the third round. And uh, Wolf are. Wolf are take playing this very seriously. They are not, you know, just gonna. Uh, you know, blatantly just run about, and a bot gets a team kill on his on Robo. And a nice crossfire from Ace and Mittel, and SMX gets a third frag, and uh, Reborn, he's, he's running the other side here. And he gets taken down with books with a shot, with a headshot, with auto shotty. So, uh, a complete demolition from Wolf coming in that round, and uh, it seems to me um, that Team Mayhem are slightly nervous. Like you, you saw the shot by Bot on Robo uh, and Boiler Room, uh, it's like the very uh, twitchy, you know. So they seem to be a little slightly nervous, and they've gone for a complete eco. It's interesting, um, but understandable, of course. Uh, they got some P two fifties and a CZ and Innocent. And he gets reborn, gets a nice pick on bait there, and it's just uh, 
Brooks holding B and Mittal gets a fragment, but Ace is rotating over here. They're gonna do a B play. And I have no idea why we just rushed with smoke like that alone, but uh, yeah, that wasn't a very smart thing to do. And now they got uh, it's three on four, and uh, who do we have? And Mittal is just rushing mid and trying to backstab them from uh, Banana, and he spots one. He gets sprayed out on Reborn, and yeah, he takes on Razor with a nice uh, headshot over there, and Books wipes him, uh, finishes out the round along with him on Innocent. So now the T's are going to be buying up. Um, let's see what they have here: an AWP on Robo, and uh, four AKs and the rest of them, and. Uh, Interestingly, Baked has bought an AWP as well. Um, from what I've seen of Wolf play, they rarely use the AWP. Um, just quite interesting to see this in the hands of Baked here. So, and let's see what damage he can do. Reborn should be able to hear the scoping in. And Bot picks up SMX over there. And... Uh, and look who we have here, look who we have here. Mithil just walked all the way down to tea, <laughs> tea House, and but he's going to get taken up by Razor here. Yep. Very cheeky play coming in from Mithil, just walked all the way to Tea House, got a frag, just fell back. And Baked gets the kill on Robo, an op duel right there. Now back to 3 on 3. The advantage is still the terrorist, because obviously 3 people, 3 CDs can't really cover both the sites properly. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a B. Uh, they haven't decided yet. They don't have much time remaining, though. Um, we got Ace and Books holding uh, A site. Ace holding truck, which seems to be a very favorite position of his. And uh, he's going to spot them as he comes out here. And they're already. And we can see uh, baked at banana with the opposite. They know banana is completely clear. They know it's going to be an A play. And just got like 15 seconds. They're going to make a play right now, and it's all going to go down to books at ace and how they can hold the site. 10 seconds. And yep, that was slightly a little too late for them, and they cannot get the bomb planted and get taken down here. And Razor loses his gun as well after the timer goes down. That was. That wasn't played well by Team Mayhem. They were cutting it too close there. Just like 10 seconds of it still walking towards the site. And once the C4 guy got taken down, I mean, they had absolutely no chance to get the plan. So they they really should have rushed in maybe at least 10 seconds prior to when they did. But uh, they're still buying up here. They still got money because they did eco two rounds at a stretch. But Books is just rushing in. He is fearless here, and Mittal gets one, Bake gets one, Books gets one. It's again down to two on five here. They're completely getting shut down from all angles, and uh, they're just holding their T-spawn here. And Baked with the AWP, he's just walking in. He does not care. Bot gets a nice frag on Mittal, but then Ace knows exactly where he is right now. I really don't think the terrorists have any chance in this particular round. Um, we have Ace here, who's just jumping about, but no one's watching T Slope. No one is watching T Slope except Baked, and he just gets flashed out here. He knows whether they're there. SMX picks up Robo, now it's all on bot, and he gets taken up by SMX uh, across alt mid. 5 nil, 5 nil to Wolf, and. Uh, I think they can buy up, but uh, yeah, they're gonna buy up. Mayhem's gonna buy up here. So far, I I really haven't seen any any sort of map control by by Team Mayhem. They've just been you know just holding you know, near T spawn near the T houses while the CT they're just peeking in, they're just pushing in, and they're just like getting the picks there. And I don't think that's really gonna win them any this match, or for that matter, any more rounds. And Baked gets the first frag on bot here. Like I said, they're not controlling the map at all. And they're just letting Wolf run around and do as they please. Reborn and Baked here. Baked is just patiently holding that angle. And Reborn gets a frag on Baked. Maybe got a little too greedy there going for the peak. Um, 
but it's still a 4 on 4 right now and Ace has rotated back but he's again walking back but it looks like it's gonna be a B play and the CTs they have no idea right now this could be the round this could be the round that uh, Mayhem can actually pull off so he's going for the smoke and, and Ace has already rotated there and uh, let's look at books He, oh, Innocent gets a frag. A nice, nice spray from Books gets to headshot. Ace cleans it up with reborn, and everyone knows where Innocent is now. He has to clutch this on his own. It's a one on three. He can hear Ace, who is right, but he doesn't know where the rest of them are. Mithril is still in a house, and Ace just mops the floor with them. And uh, that was a very, very good hole coming in from Ace and uh, from I think it was Books. And that was a round which they did have an advantage in, but uh, they kind of threw it away. And uh, let's go to scores here. It's uh, Books hasn't died even once yet. He's on 10 frags with zero deaths. And uh, they're just going really aggressive right now. And uh, the T's, they're just buying up. They don't care. Oh, Big just misses a shot onto Reborn, and Reborn just rushing in. And they're falling back smartly. Uh, they smoke. They smoke off banana. And uh, let's see what the T's are doing here. They got three guys in banana. Four guys in banana. The bombs in banana. And there's just one guy razor here. I think he's trying to play a get right and try to backstab whoever's rotating. Now they're falling back. And they take Vought takes down Mithil. Uh, all the Mithil does take him down to 44 HP. But and Ace. Over peaking again, over extending, and uh, now it's a five on three. Uh, they sh the T should be able to take this unless they really messes up. And SMX just wiping them out. Reborn gets a nice frag on books, and SMX is just holding forth there. But now it's all down to baked with his five seven and an op. And uh, Reborn and Robo both of them on pretty much full HP, and they know exactly where he is. And overextending once again, and and baked, 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 baked. He just switched the weapon at the wrong moment, and Robo just peeking out there and getting a much-needed round for his team. Now sixes to one in favor of Wolf. Um, 